This is the spaghetti that your grandma will be proud of. And guess what? We're using turkey. Let's get it. All right, so look, I'm gonna do it a little bit different. Sometimes I have my, uh, my pasta already going, but this time I, I don't. So I already put some salt in there. Got my water nice and, and seasoned up, right? So now what I wanna do is, and I wanna show you, this time I'm gonna be going ahead and use a regular spaghetti noodle you know, spaghetti pasta so that it doesn't, uh, I like angel hair, but I make so many videos like that. And this time I'm not even gonna uh, go ahead and uh, break them. Now what you wanna do is you wanna make these al dente style, right? So listen, when we do them al dente, you know I me, mean? we don't wanna overcook them. So I read the instructions on whatever type of pasta, you know, that I'm using, right? So I got my thyme. I'm waiting for that. You see how it's already disappeared. The noodles and got soft, dropped in there. Everything is going good. Now, now just going over the ingredients, as I always tell you guys, listen, the full ingredient list is on my website, smoking and grilling with ab.com, and that's W-I-T-A-B.com, right? So I've already diced down my onions. What I do is I get a you know a hair underneath me, you know what I mean? And uh, I take my onions, I just go ahead and dice, 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 and just get them out the way, you know? So this represents my onion. You're gonna need an onion of this size. I just say like a, a regular size onion. And I love the flavor from the onion anyway, right? So now I'm gonna go ahead and just prep. Let's see, I'm gonna go ahead and prep, you know, my bell peppers, right? Now we're gonna do this for flavor because this that's what this is about, right? So let me go ahead and get this uh, opened up. If you guys wanna see how I do it, you saw how I cut it, right? So I just cut it, then I cut the web off of it, right? Just to make it easy, right? Then I come over to the trash can, and what I'll do is I'll show you this way. I just take it, and either I pull it out or pull it, push it through, right? And then when you're done, it should look like that. Then you can clean up anything. So now I'm gonna go ahead and just cut this down like that, right? And just clean this up. Be careful with this part right here, because you know, sometimes you'll be cutting towards your hand, which you should not be doing anyway, but you wanna make sure that when your blade, if it's sharp, it doesn't slip through. All right, so now, this is about flavor, right, folks? So I'm gonna go ahead and cut these down just like this, like the long way, right? Just so you guys can see them, right? And then when, I, when it comes to dicing them, I'm gonna dice them nice and small. When you dice small, you know, that's for the flavor, right? And then when you do big, it's more for the texture. You know what I mean? For me, texture and color or something, you know what I mean? But right now, I told you guys in the, in the title, look, your grandma will be proud of these, you know, proud of this right here. Now, the reason I say that, I don't know if your grandmother was like my grandmother. My grandma really didn't like the turkey. You know, she told me that this wasn't, turkey wasn't nothing. But I would just, since I've gotten older and started playing with the, all of the uh, seasoning, you know what I mean, and seasoning and learning how to season, you know, a little bit more than where I was taught. I can tell you this, that you can make turkey spaghetti and you might not go back. Now, what I want to show you guys is, look, I got a little piece extra. I mean, I could cut it down, but I want to just show you I save all of this because there's no need to waste no money. And then the way I cut it, you know, I come up with the bottom. This would be the top. This was the bottom of my bell pepper, right? I save that. I'm going to leave this bag open because nine times out of ten, whenever I do green, you know what I mean, I'm going to do red with it too. So those colors kind of like just, or just like go together, right? So I'll cut this here, cut that there, and I'll just go ahead and drop this in like this and put this in my veggie box inside of my uh, refrigerator. You do this a couple times and you got enough for a whole nother recipe, folks. Pro tips. So then we start dicing. You know what I mean? Uh, you guys pay attention to this. I want you to just look at the size. You know what I mean? If you want to go smaller, you can. I still like to see a little bit in there. You know what I mean? It depends on how long we cook this down. This can actually just almost render down and just dissipate inside. But it's the flavor is what we want. Right, so I'm approaching 10 minutes, right? So it's gonna be time for me to go ahead and take my spaghetti out. Okay, so I'm gonna do this this way. I like using the Dutch oven, I'm gonna tell you why. Cause you know, when I'm done with it, instead of me putting it in another container, like sometimes we take this and we put it into a Tupperware, I'm not gonna do that. You know what I mean? I'm gonna actually keep this all together. Now, when you guys go to my website, the recipe is gonna say one pound, right? I like to use a little bit more, you know what I mean? Cause I like all of my spaghettis, any of my sauces to be a little bit more on the uh, meaty side, right? So let me go ahead and get this cut open. And what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna go ahead and put some fire underneath the bottom here. You know why? Cause what I wanna do is, I wanna start getting my, my olive oil, my extra virgin olive oil. And 
like that. And this is garlic infused. You know, this is my go-to folks made by Branch and Vine. You guys got to get it. Listen, what makes things key is when you have great ingredients, right? And they leveled up, then whatever you're making, if you're making it from me, it's already leveled up. Plus you're using leveled up uh, uh, ingredients and you know, everything to cook with, then that ensures right off the back that whatever you're doing, it's going to be leveled up real easy. Okay, so once my olive oil gets, I can see the ripples in them, that's how I know it's ready. It's hot, right? Then, you know, it's kind of like thick, right? So when it heats up, you can just like roll this around, coast the bottom nice. Now, sometimes I do things differently. I go ahead and put the turkey in there, start browning that, wait till it's about halfway done, then I add the onions and everything else, right? But we're gonna do it a little different. I'm gonna go ahead and add my onions right now, right? Cause I give my onions a head start. I love to use my uh, square wooden utensil right here, right? Cause it makes it just so much easier. I got it, it's nice, nice and hot, right? We just give that a little bit of a head start. Then I'm gonna come with my bell peppers. When you guys saw that I had two pouches out, I actually just looked at that. I bought a four pack, right? But they 1.7 pounds you know, of ground turkey, right? So now after letting this go for about, I only do it for about three to five, uh, three to four minutes. That's all you need. You know what I mean? You can take it, touch them. You can see they starting to, you know, get, you know, get soft, but this is fine. I look at my onions and just see how translucent they are, right? But we're gonna continue to cook them. Now I'm gonna take this and go ahead and dump this in. There we go. Now what I'm doing now is I'm just breaking this up a little bit so that it can start to cook, right? Like I say, on the recipe, I usually just tell everybody use one pound. I like a pound and a half. You know what I mean? You guys do what you would like, but I say make it the way I give you guys the instructions to make it, and then from that, then you make it your own. But I like everything, especially when I'm doing any type of spaghetti or Italian sauce like that, I love it to be on the meaty side. Let me explain this part. Listen, when you're cooking with turkey, it has like a water content to it, right? This is why I don't ever put the top on anything, especially when I'm doing, using turkey, right? So if you guys come around here and take a look inside of here, I'm gonna show you two things. Let me move this over here so you can see it. One, I use a meat masher. This right here is plastic. It won't scratch up my porcelain. You know, you, since I'm using my Dutch oven, right? And then look, it makes it so much easier for me to get in here and break this up and make it ground, right? Now I still see a little bit of the pink. We just want to cook this till it browns. You know what I mean? We want it to be, I like to see this part, even though it's going to cook, you know, inside of the sauce and all of that. But I like to see this nice and ground and fully cooked. So you just go in here and do just like this. I'll put a link inside of my website. I'll probably put it in YouTube also. If you guys want to get one of these, these are very inexpensive. These can cost anywhere between 12 and 20 bucks. I promise you they are must have folks. Okay, so here you go. I got crushed tomatoes. Right here we got tomato paste, we got tomato sauce, and then we got tomato paste. Let me get these open. And if you guys want to come in, let me slide this over here. That's why I love using my burner. Right, look at that. If that's not ground, I don't know what is. All of the flavors have married together. We're gonna come and put the seasoning in after I put in all of the uh, sauces. And then, ooh, my goodness, look at that. That's the spaghetti sauce right there. Well, let me just say this, that's the making of a great spaghetti sauce. All right, so now that I got these uh, open, you know what I mean? Just looking at this right here, I'm loving the color, you know what I mean? And I know that I haven't put any seasoning in here at all, but you know, just having the green and the red and the onion, oh my goodness. Now, we'll start with the crust. Now, I'm gonna be honest with you, now you just take everything that you have and just add it, you know what I mean? You can only add one thing, you know, at a time because you only got two, two hands, you know? So, just bring this around. Now I'm gonna go ahead and turn this fire up to a meat, I'm gonna go medium high. We wanna get this nice and hot and get it to boil, you know what I mean? So we can get it to cook and the flavors to get inside of the, you know, our turkey, right? So, look at it folks, it's coming together. Really on this type of recipe, spaghetti all gonna look the same. If it's turkey, it's gonna be just like a little bit lighter, but it's really in the flavor though. And you're not eating the red meat, you know, giving your body, you know, a little bit of a break. You can see it's starting to pop a little bit, right? So that tell me we got a little heat. When you put that paste in there, it's gonna take a little heat to make it dissipate, right? 
Now, one thing I don't have out here is I don't have my bay leaf. You know what I mean? When I do spaghetti, come on, folks. You know we got to have that bay leaf. Right? Now, we add the rest of our ingredients. Now, watch out now. That was them chili plates. I don't want to hear nobody telling me. It's like a little hot. You can go a half a teaspoon. I like to go a full one. But just to, everything is so mild, you know? Okay, so we didn't come back up to a boil, but I'm going to show you a couple of things. What we got to do now is, last thing I'll just put in here is, you know, this is uh, fresh garlic, right? So this puts a smile on my face, folks, right? So look at this right here. I love my press. I'm going to tell you why. When you press it like this, look, hit it with the back of something uh, firm, all of that went in there, and you don't really get no waste, right? So let me finish doing the rest of them. All right, so now that I got all of my garlic in there, you know, the fresh minced garlic, this is going to be the pro tip. Now, I'm going to bring this out here just so you guys can see this. I already reduced my flame now, but I just want to show you this part right here. Look how thick that is. I like my spaghetti, you know, like this. You know what I mean? This is how I like it. Don't forget, this is 1.7 pounds of ground turkey, right? But if you look, just look, that's kind of thick. Now, I know some of y'all are going to say, hey, that's a little too thick for me. Here's the pro tip. What you want to do is chicken broth or stock, whichever one, and then you thin it out here. And then we cook it. We cook that down, you know what I mean, to the desired thickness that we like. Now, I'm going to put this on simmer. And even if it cook down and get thick again on me, but I'm going to put the lid on. Even if it does do that, right? Don't worry about it because you can add some, uh, some more stock or broth, you know, to it and you can thin it out just the way you like it and then you can go ahead and serve it. Now, this is the question I got for everybody. Talk to me down in the comment section below and tell me, do you guys like your noodles separate? I mean, you want your pasta to be separate from, meaning we can put the pasta on a plate and then we can come and do it later, you know, over the top, right? Or do you like yours cooked either? I'm gonna tell you right now to get it going, I like mine cooked. You know what I mean? And to be honest with you, you make it today, and then, you know, it's even better the next day. Why? Because all of these flavors got to get inside of that pasta. These are pro tips, folks. All right. So I just like to keep scraping this. You know, keep it nice and clean on the side so nothing helps with the cleanup, folks. Right? Now, you guys can see that right there. Ooh, my goodness. Now, I've already stated that I love my uh, pasta cooked in there. That's the way we're going to do this, folks. So I'm gonna go ahead and just bring it into the game just like you see. Now remember, I didn't use angel hair. This is just like the traditional standard size spaghetti, right? So let's get that going. Look at that right there. Now, I got another question for you guys. How many of y'all like to add, uh, you know, some sugar to it? I don't always add sugar to it. I'm gonna let you guys uh, in on a little secret. I like to put ketchup. I don't care who made it, if I made it, you made it, or whatever, as long as it's not sweet. You know what I mean? But if, I always put ketchup in there, and if you ask me, ketchup ain't nothing but sugar. You know what I mean? So I just add a little bit to my bowl. All right, so you guys get a chance to see it right now. I got it set up for success. You know what I mean? I got like a, a nice little simmer going. I'm gonna go ahead and put this top on now because we're gonna cook this for about 30 minutes, right? And I want you guys to notice, that's all the way on. Since I'm using the Dutch oven, I need it to like, you know, breathe just a little bit, right? So we'll let some of the steam and the condensation that builds up in the inside come out, because I like it to be a little bit on the thick side, right? So I'll see you guys in 30 minutes. All right, folks, listen, we've cooked this. This has been going for 30 minutes. Let's go ahead and break this over here. Let a little bit of steam out. We don't want to catch no burn. And look at that right there, folks. Mm. Bay leaf right here on the top. Mm. All right, listen, I just snuck a taste of this right here and I can't really tell you the difference. Now, the reason I talk about the turkey is it's a little bit lighter. It's, it's really, really good, folks. Listen, it's really in the seasoning. That's the whole thing. And when I say grandma be proud of it, I know my grandma be proud of it because she tell me up and down, turkey don't taste like beef. It don't, but when you season it right, this is what you'll probably prefer more so than the beef. Now, let me go ahead and get this you know, plate it, and then we go from there. Okay, folks, so listen, if you guys come on in here, you can look, you know, we didn't hit it with the Parmesan cheese, all of that. This right here is a nice hearty bowl. I can tell you this, we finna get off early today, because once I eat this, it's night, night time. But here we go, cheers. This is hot, folks. Mm. 
man, this right here is right. And to be 100 with everybody out there, listen, I don't even use beef no more. You know what I mean? Everything is just, you know, on the turkey side. I said this before in other videos and I grew up eating that way. You know what I mean? But listen, when you season it the proper way, I'm telling you, it comes up better. I mean, it comes up great. There really isn't no difference. I mean, I got it. I eat, I eat beef. I can tell just a little bit, but I promise you, you guys, when you eat it, you're not going to know. You're just going to say, hey, this is good. It's, you're going to be like, because it's kind of like light. Now, listen, I don't want to over talk it. I want you guys to tell me down in the comment section below. You know what I mean? What would you do? What would you add? I got another one for you, folks. I've been dropping the little gems already. I could have put some andouille sauces in this, right? And I like to do that on the chicken side, right? So why not have the chicken andouille sauces with that flavor? And then we use turkey. That way we completely weaned ourselves from the beef. With that being said, listen, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like, smash that subscribe button, and tell everybody out here, listen, it's a channel out here that's simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking. And guess what, folks? Uh, you didn't hurt them all. I'm just out. Peace.